And this is a demonstration of the inverted pendulum plant. As you can see here, it just attaches right on top of the servo 2 motor. Um, those gold screws just screw right down into the main gear. Okay, And as you can see, it starts in the down position when you're running this simulator. Here's the block diagrams for it. Uh, this is the main block diagram, and that blue box is what actually interfaces with the motor. And that's this block right here. You can see the encoders right here. Um, and this is the encoder for the servo 2, and this is the encoder for the inverted pendulum itself. And over here is the motor output for the servo 2 to control it. Now, we'll show it actually running. The motor won't actually activate until you cross the zero degree threshold, so that's to avoid any damage to the motor or pendulum. Once you have it started, you just slowly bring it up. As soon as it crosses, you can still it activate and you let it go. And it runs. And keep the pendulum up. I can add some disturbance. And it still keeps going as long as it's not too much. And it can take care of it. And that is the inverted pendulum.